How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This program has been prepared and presented to you by a selected group of local independent businessmen who seek your cooperation to stimulate prosperity and create additional payrolls in our community. Has it ever occurred to you who it is that has made possible these beautiful paved streets and highways that enable us to drive our cars with such ease and comfort? Just in case any of you have forgotten, I shall remind you that your local merchants contribute approximately 65% of the taxes to afford us this luxury. They fully deserve our and your support. And when your home is menaced by fire, we cannot expect the fire department from some other community to assist us. We are wholly dependent upon our own fire equipment to protect us from this hazard. And remember these volunteer firemen who so generously contribute their time that we may feel secure in this their protection with the result of their work, all of which is made possible through taxes to which the local merchants again contribute 65%. How vivid in the memory of all of us is the Little Red Schoolhouse. It will always have its sentimental value, but compared to the modern structures and today's methods of education and instruction, our children are highly fortunate. The pedagogical training of our teachers, the complete equipment and safety of our schools, the careful attention to the protection of their health and training are all sustained, furthered, and made possible by taxes. And 65% of these taxes are paid by our local merchants, sturdy citizens of a sturdy, progressive community. That is, your community. Very soon these young girls and boys will be ready to enter the business world, yet how often have we heard it said that there is no opportunity in this community for my boy or girl and that it is necessary for them to seek employment in the larger cities. Many opportunities could be provided from the industries of this community if the people would but realize that the money spent with the mail order house or with any merchant outside our own community, robs our own town of prosperity, prevents progress that enables the merchant to create more opportunities in the forms of jobs, more local improvements, increased real estate values, all of which tends to enhance the value of our entire community. The nation and state is only as strong as each individual community only as progressive and solvent as each district's ability to furnish young, ambitious, healthy, educated sons and daughters. Our local merchants aid magnificently toward this composite picture. We sustain and maintain local health, fire, police, school, library, and many other public benefactory efforts. The employees of these services owe it to local merchants to purchase local commodities, to teach and practice local pride. It is a sound truism, united we stand, and united we succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, your community is composed of you, and you, and you. Your local merchant is your friend and neighbor. He stands willing and eager to assist you. They deposit in our banks. They employ local help, and they pay local taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, support wholeheartedly your local merchant.